Nancy is an inspiration woman. Nancy has done things around the world which most people will never know about. And yet, when you speak to her for any length of time, she has a kind of quiet inspiration. Troy Perry had a very obvious inspiration. Troy Perry exuded charisma like nobody I've ever come across. Nancy Wilson is different. But Nancy Wilson, you learn from just by being with her and talking. So here's what we say. We are called as Christians to stand in solidarity with those who are marginalized and oppressed. <coughs> Agreed? Agreed. Amen. Be partners in working for change. Be witnesses who call attention to human rights abuses. Very important. Be a voice in the international community for justice. Yep. Lift up new generations of remarkable, far-reaching spiritual activists. Come on. Come on. Amen. Build on hope and create our future. And what is justice? Well, Harper's Dictionary defines justice as the demand of God for justice as so central. I'm sure it doesn't. Anyway, this is what they say. The demand of God for justice is so central that other responses to God are empty or diminished if they exist without it. God is the defender of the poor and the oppressed. When we properly carry out justice, we are agents of the divine will. The context for the carrying out of justice is the creation of community and the preservation of people in it. And what are our baseline standards as MCC as we go and try and do this justice? and plant churches and spread the word across the world. Well, to only go where we are invited. To assume we have a lot to learn. To listen to our hosts. To forge partnerships. To respond when requested. And to be flexible to the realities and differences in establishing churches internationally. We are not colonialists. We're not going to repeat that. We're just not even going to go there. We are not going to install something on a foreign culture and community which is intolerable to them. We may firmly believe it's the best thing in the world, but unless it's done in partnership with their needs considered, it's just back to colonialism. A sort of patriarchy. Benevolent patriarchs. But it's not what we're going to do. And it's not what we are doing. We could have probably done an awful lot more to the outside world if we hadn't been willing to partner all the time. And does this go with our mission statement in this church? Well, we put it up there at the beginning of each service, but I'm going to read it to you again, because this is a mission statement which we came up with and we all voted to agree on. Our mission statement is to be a powerful force for the transformation of lives through Jesus Christ, bringing people into God's presence through creative and thoughtful outreach, nurturing their gifts and discipleship in all their diversity, and empowering them to minister to others. What does this mean? It means bring them in through outreach and being willing to leave our place of comfort. We seek to meet people where they are on a basis of equality, incorporating their talents and diverse gifts into our worship community and leadership. We believe that people are not only born equal, but remain equal. We seek to bring the good news of Christ's redeeming and universal love to all we encounter and model that love as the body of Christ on earth. And the second part, to build them up, Christian discipleship and growth is at the heart of our mission. Through education, inspiration, and the stated aim of each of our members to prosper each other's relationship with God and all our members sign that and sign their agreements to that in their membership covenant, we aim to build strong, loving Christians, able to affect change in the world. We seek at all times to be open to God's call upon us. And finally, send them out. Ultimately, we're not called to settle into those spiritual comfort zones, but to do justice in this world. We intend for the BEZ MCC to be an engine of truth and justice in real and tangible terms, not only in New Orleans, but throughout the world in prayer, outreach and effective ministries. All this we are doing. All this you are doing. All of this you need to take a vigorous and seeking part in. You need to ask where you can do more. You need to support the church. You 
need to support the next stage in the term, church if that leads us to a new building. And it would only lead us to a new building if we have stable finances. It would only lead us to a new building if we are sure that there are going to be people who are willing to give their time up every week, to put their backs into it, to do drywall, to shovel up pigeon droppings, to redo the roof, to titivate the grounds of the church. Unless people are going to be willing to do that, unless people are going willing to stick to their promises, stick to the commitments that they've made, stick to the pledges that they've made, stick to the jobs that they say they'll do in the church, stick to the tasks that they'll say they'll do in the service, whether it be reading, even in little things like that. We don't have a hope in hell, frankly. There is no way I am going to authorize or even encourage this church to go on its own in its own building if we can't do something as simple as keep to a budget. It just won't happen. So, in the future, especially over the next few months, we're going to be taking new pledges from everybody. Because our pledges last year were blown out of the water by the financial disaster that affected pretty much everybody, including us. So we're going to take new pledges. And on the basis of those new pledges, we will make a decision as a church whether we go forward into our own building and into a future which is so different to the past of this church in New Orleans and is more like NCC's vision than the rest of the world, as opposed to people's private fancies and fantasies for what they wanted their private chapel to be here in New Orleans. Because over my dead body, over my dead body. So from here, we have to make a decision. Do you want to wear a bib? Or do you want to wear the apron? And I think as the weeks and the months go by, we'll see what decisions 